Metal Edge Terminations, PS1A, Options 1 and 2. There are several different options to flash a Metal Edge Termination on any of the Carlisle systems. We are going to show you the two most popular. Option 1. This option utilizes minimum 9 inch wide rust for adhered, ballasted, and mechanically fastened systems. Details A1, G, B1A, or MFS1, G. Place a mark on the insulation a minimum of 3 inches from the edge of the flange to determine the width of the rust. The overall measurement must allow complete coverage of the wood nailer. Position the 9 inch wide rust along the marks on the insulation. Adjoining sections of the rust must be overlapped and seamed together a minimum of 3 inches using standard splicing procedures. Position the metal flange and fasten often enough to prevent buckling or pulling free. Position the deck membrane to completely cover the flange. Pull back the membrane to expose the rust. Prime both the metal and the rust with Carlisle Primer. After passing the tack test, apply 6 inch wide secure tape in accordance with detail U2B. When two pieces of 3 inch wide tape are used, one piece is applied adjacent to the metal on the rust strip, and the other is applied on top of the metal. This can also be accomplished using one piece of 6 inch wide secure tape applied to the same areas. Apply an approved primer to the membrane with a 4 inch wide roller at the appropriate coverage rate. Prior to mating the surfaces together, do the tack test. Peel the clear poly, roll the splice together, and apply hand pressure towards the leading edge of the splice. Roll the splice with a 2 inch wide roller. Option 2. The second option uses pressure sensitive cured cover strip. Detail PS1A. Position the deck membrane to completely cover the face of the wood nailer and fasten the membrane with ring shank nails. Position the metal flange and fasten often enough to prevent buckling or pulling free. Prepare the splice area with an approved primer. As soon as the primer flashes off, center the pressure sensitive cured cover strip over the edge of the metal flange and set the flashing to completely cover the flange and extend onto the roof membrane a minimum of two inches. Wipe the flashing with hand pressure to remove any trapped air. Roll the seam with a two inch wide roller. Lap sealant is only required at seam intersections, beneath T-joints, metal joints, and flashing overlaps.